Please help me welcome President Donald J. Trump. And I'm proud to be an American, where at least I know I'm free. And I won't forget the men who died, who gave that right to me. And I gladly stand up next to you and defend her still today. Cause there ain't no doubt I love this land. I always say I ran the first time and I won. Then I ran a second time and I did much better. We got millions and millions more votes. And you know what? That's going to be a story for a long time. What a disgrace it was. But we may just have to do it again. We have to straighten out our country. We have to straighten out our country. We had it there. We had it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. It's very nice. Under the Democrat rule, in Democrat-run cities, Democrat-run states, and a Democrat-run federal government, the criminals have been given free reign more than ever before. There's never been a time like this. Our streets are riddled with needles and soaked with the blood of innocent victims. Many of our once great cities, from New York to Chicago to L.A., where the middle class used to flock to live the American dream, are now war zones, literal war zones. Our country is now a cesspool of crime. We have blood, death, and suffering on a scale once unthinkable because of the Democrat Party's effort to destroy and dismantle law enforcement all throughout America. It has to stop, and it has to stop now. <laughs> America first must mean safety first. We have to have safety, starting with our new majorities in Congress next year and continuing on to the next Republican president. We need an all-out effort to defeat violent crime in America and strongly defeat it and be tough and be nasty and be mean if we have to. Here's what we must do to restore public safety. First, we have to give our police back their authority, resources, power, and prestige. We have to leave our police alone. Every time they do something, they're afraid they're going to be destroyed, their pension's going to be taken away, they'll be fired, they'll be put in jail. Let them do their job. Give them back the respect that they deserve. Our great police know what to do. We have to allow them to do it. We need to return to stop and frisk policies in cities and not shy away from it. If you look at countries throughout the world, the ones that don't have a drug problem are those that institute a very quick trial, death penalty sentence for drug dealers. It sounds horrible, doesn't it? But you know what? That's the ones that don't have any problem. It doesn't take 15 years in court. It goes quickly, and you absolutely, you execute a drug dealer, and you'll save 500 lives because they kill, on average, 500 people. It's terrible to say, but you take a look at every country in this world that doesn't have a problem with drugs. They have a very strong death penalty for the people that sell drugs. If we're going to stop this scourge, and by the way, we should not allow men to play in women's sports.
So crazy. And I'll tell you what, if I were ever, uh, I'd be the greatest women's basketball coach in history. Because I don't like LeBron James. I like Michael Jordan much better. But, but, I'd, but I'd go up to LeBron James. It doesn't matter. I'd say, LeBron, did you ever have any desire to be a woman? Because what I'd love you to do is star on my team that I'm building up. I will have the greatest team in history. They'll never lose. Nobody will come within 70 points of this team. Now, we have to change that, and we have to make it okay to talk about it.